Hello, my friends. How are you today? Aaron here bringing you some honest astrology for the new moon in Virgo that's happening at 7 a.m. at exactly 25 degrees of Virgo on the 17th. All right. Now it's important that whenever we're watching this video, if it comes out, you know, uh, later on on Wednesday evening, um, that really that we do this practice, that we do whatever it is, mental preparation, meditation, um, in the morning time. You know, this is when this energy really sets off. Okay, because there's a lot of really positive energy going on right now. Okay, so the sun and the moon coming together, new moon, new beginnings. Okay, new moons are always new beginnings in the sign of Virgo. It is focused energy. Okay, so Mercury rules Virgo, Mercury rules Gemini, and Gemini, this is all the information, the AM, FM radio, the bleed of one track to another, where, you know, the energy of Virgo is much more focused delivered much uh, more precisely and specifically okay now this is a very very special new moon all right on our opposition here we have neptune home in pisces okay our imagination our creativity our dreams the great unknown all right now this is about service okay sixth house this is about saying yes to something saying no to something virgo this is about doing the work the house of bread Right? This is about us doing our work, us being prepared and standing up to do and deliver our services. And this little semi-square that's happening here to Venus, this is a very, very awesome, awesome connection about balance. And we see that septile up here to Jupiter about abundance in our lives. Okay, And we have the moon, and I'm going to talk about all this in a second and how this makes sense. The sun and the moon almost perfectly square to Saturn here. Okay. And Saturn squaring Mars, uh, and, and and so closely conjunct, you know, to to Pluto here about transformation, changing our daily lives. So let me tie all this in together. Let's make sense of all this. Okay. Now that we've seen the chart, let's drink it in for a moment. I want to come back here and talk. So, new beginning, new beginning, knowing our worth, knowing that we have the ability to stand up to do whatever it is that we need to do here. Okay, we all have a job to play. We all have a role to play and we have to be full. Our cup must be full in order to pour for others. Okay, so this little semi square that's going on down here to Venus, Venus, our planet of love, our planet of wants and desires uh, of personal possessions, as well as you know, things, just the, the things that make us feel ooey gooey good and excited inside, excited to be alive. You know, this down here in the sign of Leo, the sun that constantly burns, you know, this is the soul, okay? So this is about being proud, being proud of ourselves, all right? Proud no matter what we've been through, uh, what has happened in the past. We have to be proud of who we are in this moment, okay? Proud of the decisions that we've made, that we've learned from, that have led us here today. And to stand up and to be strong in our convictions, okay? And loving and caring, okay? And this, this uh, septile up here to Jupiter about saying abundantly, we can live this way every day. And if we give ourselves the time that we deserve, okay, we deserve to give time for ourselves to give us these little pep talks in the morning when we wake up and says, yes, I am amazing. I, you know, I've gone through so much. I've done all of these things in life and I'm still learning. I'm still absorbing. And I have a mission here uh, and I have to do something. You know, there's something, you know, uh, that we're doing here for the change of this planet. You know, 25 degrees of Virgo, this is about active participation, okay, actively participating, us getting up and doing something uh, for the improvement, for the evolution of this planet, okay? And it's about being grounded, grounded in our energy, right? We see our dreams, they're in front of us. And if we reach, if we reach for something, this is when we get toppled over, we have to be grounded firmly. This is the beauty of all this earth energy that's going on right now, making sure that we are grounded and, and are, you know, concrete, confirmed in our minds, in our hearts, in our bellies, you know, that we do have the strength, that we do have this ability to rise up, to, to empower ourselves every day, to be grateful and to be forgiving. You know, this is about unconditional giving. The flowers that, and, and the trees that die every single year in autumn and winter, bloom again in spring and summer okay so we go through all of these changes and we're square to the nodes all right 
square to the nodes. And making this little quinkunx here, okay, 5 twelfths aspect to Mars, which is beautifully retrograde. I want to talk about this in a little different way. Okay, beautifully retrograde, you know, and, and loosely conjunct here to Lilith. This is our, our kind of wild side. Who's going to tell me what to do? You can't tell me. And this is how Eris, you know, how I make decisions. Uh, how, when information is given to me, how am I responding to these decisions? Okay, and this square, this is about responsibility and authority. Okay, and this new beginning here, where we've been, how we've been in the past, and where we're going to, where we want to be in the future. Okay, so this is like, look, Mars, Mars is, is the planet of war, the god of war, right? And, and his, historically, mythologically, has been known as the deity or whatever that gives us weapons, okay? That gives us weapons and arms us. And with Mars sleeping retrograde right now, it's a little too close to Earth for us to feel, you know, the energy and the pulse, uh, the, the, the forward momentum of Mars, the acceleration that Mars brings to the table when it's in full swing, isn't there. So this is an opportunity for us to set down the shield, to set down our armor, to set down the weapons, to find a new way to communicate to find a new way to balance our lives, to be of a greater authority. No one loves the boss that's always yelling at people, you know, and, and commandeering, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, talking down, oppressing, and just uh, being overwhelming energetically, you know, because my way or the highway, you know, so it's just like sometimes we can embody that, that kind of energy or whatever it may be, you know, there's a new way to, to communicate, new way to look at things, uh, you know, and, and of course, Mercury here, foreshadowing where the sun and moon are going to be very soon, is all about balance. And we must bring balance to our lives, balance to our communication, balance to our thoughts in order for us to reach our dreams. And our dreams are obtainable if we maintain grounded, if we maintain our sense of authority. And if we are expanding, if we are doing the work and expanding our daily lives, even within the limitations that we're given by the outside government, okay, understanding that we certainly are the government as well, and we govern ourselves, and how we choose to govern ourselves daily brings this joy into our lives, okay? And when we stand up strong, when we stand up tall, when we stand up proud, and when we are happy, for everything that we've been through, happy for where we've been, everything that's gone on in our lives, and feel optimistic because we are rooted in our foundation that our dreams are obtainable, that we don't have to reach, that we just keep doing the work, that we keep growing, okay, until they're right there in our palm. <laughs> okay, this is a powerful, powerful, powerful new moon, okay? Our active participation in the evolution of our planet and giving ourselves these pep talks every single day that says, yes, I can, yes, I am strong enough, yes, I am worth it, and yes, I've done the work to bring me here to this point to where I can continue or, or start the next chapter of my life. I'm willing to put down the weapon, put down the armor, you know, be vulnerable, being open, and trying a new way of living this life. <laughs> All right, happy new moon, my friends. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. Appreciate you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.